Hey guys, my name is Thais, and currently on the channel we're doing planty things. Um, I'm going around watering all my plants, all my mom's plants, and I have some really exciting news. Oh well, look at that hole in my ceiling. Um, I'll be going to Florida next week, so I've been going around looking at all my plants, um, tending to them, seeing what projects I need to complete before I go, um... And I wrote them down. So um, I wanted to go over it with you guys. i just been watering everything. Um, there's some liquid dirt in here. So I've been fertilizing too. Do you guys like my hat? Um, I will not be able to finish my paludarium before I leave. Because um, I ordered some horticultural charcoal to be like the base of my paludarium and it's not coming in until like two days after i leave three days after i leave so it's gonna have to wait when i until when i come back until i come back this thing is so convenient Um, also, all my plants are everywhere in my room, super messy, so I wanted to organize that, um, and, um, like, take a look at my floor. There is a lot going on, I got propagations everywhere, um, these two half-dying plants in these large-ass pots, like, for no reason right here. Um, yeah, I need to go all over all of the these, I need to look into that terrarium, because I haven't been looking in there for a while. Need to finish this. Um, I did did this like two weeks ago. I need to finish it with some rocks. Find a good place for it. I need to look through and see what I can do with these plants because this is also not a good spot. I need to repot this. It's so desperate for water. And um, it was so dry it fell over. So. <laughs> I need to figure that out. I need to figure all these plants out. I want to finish potting this up and doing the project that I was going to do with this. Got to look through and see um, how these plants are doing. There's just a lot. I need to figure out who's going to be watering my plants for me when I'm gone. I'm going to beg my sister and see what she says because she'll, she'll be here. I could pay someone, I could pay her, but I don't know if she'll want to um, take responsibility for watering our plants. Um, I already asked her and she said, oh my god, you want me to take care of what, 200 plants? And I didn't answer her before, but as I think about it, it won't be all of the plants that need watering. Um, it'll be maybe just like half of them because um, most of our plants are not really high maintenance. Oh, there's a spider. Yeah, I need to, like, figure out, like, what I'm going to do with these because they're doing really well here in my room because there's good humidity. Um, but they're just not appealing to look at. Do you understand? Like, for example, this one right here is very sad. Looks very sad. This Justina right here looks very sad. But they're both growing a lot more since they've come in here. So I think what I'll do is just chop off all of the leaves Maybe I'll do that now. I'll chop off all the leaves. That way it can start as, like, fresh. You know what I mean? And same thing with this one. Okay, so I've watered all of these. And look how retarded I am. I stupidly... There's, like, a wick under there for that ivy. And I left it on here and it ruined my dresser. Pissed. Um, so I'm watering now the, um, cactus that was here, the dogtail cactus. I watered this spider plant. Um, I just need to go through now and check how all of these are doing. Most of them should be fine. Um, I'm gonna check mainly on the strings of things, and then also that potato up there with the really long vine. Um, that definitely needs water, that little cup. And also, I've been thinking about taking these two potatoes here, one here on the end, this one, and then all the way over there on the other side, on the right, next to the ferry. I was thinking of bringing them outside just because I don't want them to die when I leave. And um, that cup 
is not tall enough. Like, the potato sucks up that water so fast. <laughs> they grow so fast, you guys. Um, I checked that Syngonium that I put there, like, two weeks ago. They have really cute roots. I'm gonna leave it in there for now and then deal with that when I come back. Um, oh, yes, this agave right there at the on the end... I'm going to put that in an arrangement. I'm going to take like all of the loose cacti, like that one right there, and put them in an arrangement. That way um, I don't have to worry about them um, drying out. Not that the cactus would dry out, but some of the succulents I have, they would be better in an arrangement. Um, just checking. Need to check those two up there. That cactus and um, also that, what is it called? That jungle cactus. Look at what happened to this alocasia. I think either it's going into dormancy. I don't know what's happening, but she's not pregnant, so I think I'm going to lose this leaf without getting a new one. We'll see. Maybe I'll retry to regrow her um, with the little corms that I find in there. I definitely need to water um, these air, air plants. I need to fix this arrangement that <laughs> looks like a little bit of a graveyard. So I need to fix that. Um, and then just water the strings of things, like I had said. Watered all of these. I really want to get rid of these um, ficus. I have one here and then another one in this pot back here. Two different types of Lerata. Honestly, they're not my favorite plants. And they're, um, they're a little bit of a diva. They're doing really well in here. Look, there's a whole new leaf popped up right when I put it in my room because of the humidity. Um, but I just feel like if I buy a ficus, I want to buy a really large one already. I don't, I don't know. I, this just doesn't bring me joy. So I need to figure that situation out. Maybe I could trade them for a different plant. These alocasia are fine. My favorite leaf, this one, is um, yellowing. So I think we're going to lose this one. These begonias are good. I just watered them too. I need to see. Um, this looks like it can go. I think I'm going to water this right before I leave. That way it'll be perfect. And um, with a good drink right before I leave. Because it still could go a little bit longer. And I need to water this carnivorous plant. And I watered this one. And I watered this one already. And I need to water these air plants. It's a lot. I watered this Dracaena. This isn't a Dracaena. What am I saying? This is a Diffenbachia. Look at this leaf. It's so crispy. But this plant was not doing well in my mom's bathroom. We brought it in here. Look, already a new leaf. And I feel like there's some new growth here. And this is a new growth point right here too. So she's already happier in here. What I don't appreciate is the fact that she looks like that in this really beautiful pot so i'm not really sure why she's still in there i need to figure this whole situation out i have really nice plants just in plastic pots and then dying plants in like really nice pots so it doesn't make sense i've had this lipstick plant propagating in this bag for maybe three or four months now look at all these roots she's so ready and i've been putting it off definitely need to do that look she's already busting out of the propagation that i have her in um, I need to check these propagations because I checked them a while ago and they seem fine. Um, but maybe some of them are ready to transfer to a pot and I could do that before I leave. Um, let's see, I need to check in there and see how those are doing. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at all these new leaves. This varicosum has a new leaf. This varicosum has a new leaf and an- oh, I didn't even show you guys. This varicosum has a new leaf right here and another one on the way. This varicosum, this is a new leaf. There was spider mite damage on these, just by the way, just so you guys know. I am aware that these are damaged because there were spider mites in here. They fucking got in here somehow. Excuse my language. I was so pissed. Don't know- how they got in here but i got rid of them so there shouldn't be any new damage um so yeah so these newest leaves are a little bit damaged because of those stupid spider mites but it's still gonna be so beautiful i'm so excited so excited and um i'm pretty sure that this dragon scale should come out of here now 
I think I'm going to stick it in the palette area. I might actually stick all of these in the palette area. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling kind of frisky. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm kind of afraid to just stick them in there into a, a place that they're not used to and then leave. So I might not. Um, I might wait till I come back. But this dragon scale needs to come out of here. It's a little too squished. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. So, this Melanochrysum is the only one. Oh, wait, there's an Amedrium on the bottom. So, the Amedrium here on the bottom, if you guys can see, the new leaf is so cute. It already is coming out with the, um, the different texture that the Amedrium is. And then there's a new leaf right there. <gasps> and look, that's a growth point, guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's a growth point. So, these Veracosum are happy, even though the stupid-ass spider mites came in here. They should be good now, and that's the update. I will come in here right now. I just sprayed it with some water, um, with uh, distilled water. I'm going to come in here now, just as a security precaution, and spray again um, the spider mite spray that I usually use. Uh, just because if there is not even a baby in there, I will murder it. Okay, I've sprayed it with the Spider Mite X. Um, it smells really nice, so I'm really happy about that, but I'm just realizing that my last video clip might have sounded a little bit aggressive about me murdering the spider mites, but if you've had spider mites in your plant collection, please don't mind my hair. If you've had spider mites in your plant collection, you know that they're literally the most annoying, annoying bug and mite in the whole world. Like, you basically might as well just throw out the plant because it's not worth it for it to infest all your plants. They're so freaking annoying. And they basically got on all my alocasias. I've been spraying my alocasias for like over a month now. And I think I finally like killed all of them. But I still spray everything every once in a while just in case. Um, let me show you guys what I use. So I used to use Captain Jack's and I like that. But then my friend showed me this one. It's the Mite X. My friend Susan, Angel. It controls mites, thrips, and aphids. So this one's really perfect for spider mites because um, I like the smell of it. Honestly, that's what attracted me to it. It smells like cinnamon, and um, so I'm not afraid to like spray it on everything because it doesn't stink like anything. So I basically spray it on all my plants as a preventative measure. Um, also wanted to show you guys, I'm going to put this one in the paludarium. Here's what it looks like so far. I'm going to open it for you guys to see. I'm like going around the house and like seeing what plants I could put in there because I'm trying to consolidate. It's much easier to water plants when they're all in one place. Um, I don't want to forget about the plants and let them die. Do you understand? Like this happens all the time. A lot of my plants um, didn't make it in the winter because they were forgotten in the garage with coal damage. So um, let me check these. I think they should be good. I watered them a couple days ago. So, oh, by the way. The Syngonium that I'm water propagating, here's the, let me actually set this down and show you guys. So a couple weeks ago, I chopped up the Syngonium. I probably will do another chop just because it doesn't look like there's going to be any new growth on these. Um, I put the Syngoniums in there, as you guys see. Please do not mind this messy ass mirror. And look at all the new growth already. How cute. So I just want to, um, my plan is to stick these back in here, but um, I think I'm going to wait till I come back to do that, maybe like a, so another two weeks, and I'm just going to chop off these extra. And I never chopped off that one, so let me do that one as well. If you guys have made it this far, comment down below your favorite genus of plant. I specifically don't have one. I like too many different kinds, so just choose one. But I'm interested because there are some people in this world that have a specific favorite. So if you are one of those people, I'd love to know. This one just came out. It's not very happy. I'm just going to see. Some of them are just not happy. I'm going to pull them out. A little maintenance on here. Do you guys like the shirt I made? Um, this is from the artist Valfrey. Um, I made it with my Cricut though, just because... Um, I feel like $30 for a t-shirt is a little, a little much. I love her art though. It's so beautiful. You know, she does deserve credit because she did make the art. 
but it's not like I'm selling the t-shirts, you know, I'm just wearing it and also promoting her. Look how cute. I'm obsessed. So yeah, when I can't afford something, I just make the shirt. Okay, so I've chopped it up, chopped off the excess, so it should be good. Now let me chop off that um, dracaena over there, get all the nasty leaves off. There's a spider in here, guys, so I'm going to try my best not to interrupt her. Um, before, when I was watering this plant, she did move off of the plant, and I don't want to bother her, so I'm just going to be gentle and not tug. Oh, there she is going anyways. I'm sorry. One second. If there's ever a spider on your plant, just be thankful. Oh, she's coming off. I'm sorry, just give me five minutes. She's like a daddy long leg. I don't know exactly. Hopefully she doesn't come and bite me though. <laughs> Um, for these plants, I try to cut it at an angle just so it looks a little bit more natural, but, um, it's just gonna look off. I know I'm gonna basically have to restart this plant this summer, but as you can see, look at all these new babies right here. So she'll be happy. Um, she'll be happy when summer comes around. I just want to make sure that, um, it just looks a little bit better. And these browning tips are from when I, so I, I bought her last summer, this Dracaena, and um, I think it's called a Marginata. I could be wrong. Maybe I pulled that out of my ass. Um, so I bought this last summer and I had her outside and she was really happy, but then I had to bring her inside for winter and, because I'm in, I'm in Connecticut, so it gets really cold here in the winter. I need to bring all my plants inside. So I started watering her with tap water and I didn't realize that Dracaenas don't like tap water. They actually hate it. And every time you water a Dracaena with tap water, um, she'll hate you. And then she'll, her ends will start turning brown and um, she'll probably stop growing. Maybe also that's because she went into dormancy. But um, yeah, so I stopped watering her and all the other Dracaenas in my house because I have a cane plant and this other pink Dracaena here too that I forged. Actually, no, this one I bought here. This one right here. It needs some love too. We're going to work on that one next. So the other Dracaena that I have is up there, the one that I forged from Florida. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's in that pot with all the other pothos that I forged as well. And she is way happier. Um, now that she's in distilled water. So, yeah, distilled water for your Dracaenas because they do not like it. I also lost sight of the spider, so that kind of scares me a little bit, but I'm sure she won't, like, come bite me, hopefully. Um, so, the moment I... The moment it's nice outside again, I'm going to stick most of my plants outside because they're just really going to like that a lot more. Um, I would stick them outside before I go to Florida, but a, a rule of thumb for bringing plants outside would be like Mother's Day because apparently it has to be like no lower than 50 at night um, or else the plants could freeze, especially tropical plants. So my friend had told me, guys, it looks so much better already. Look at this. Move this down. Looks so much better already. Look at that. Um, so my friend had told me that a rule of thumb would be um, Mother's Day for most plants. And then tropical plants wait even longer until Memorial Day. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, when I come back from Florida, because I'm going to basically be there for Mother's Day. Um, when I come back, I can start bringing my plants outside. So then that's like a good mark. And this Dracaena will definitely be one of them. Oh, it looks so much better. It does look really sparse, obviously. Like, she was a lot fuller and a lot more beautiful before. But um, now that she just doesn't have all those brown spots, it just looks happier. And it's not wasting energy on those brown spots. Look, guys. She 
looks so much better already. I don't know why I felt like the spider was crawling on my face. Look at all these new growth points. She's really happy. Okay. So it was a good call to keep these in my room because the humidity is really up high in here. Really high up. So let me work on this one now. This is another type of Dracaena. Um, do you guys like Dracaenas? See, I don't believe that I would buy any more. Um, Dracaenas were one of the first plants that I got in my collection. This one right here that I had just done. Um, and also... Um, the cane, the cane Dracaena that I have. Let's see, these are all dry, like, these are new leaves, but they got crispy. I don't know. I need to help it out here. What's going on? They're all stuck. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw, but I had just... Oh my gosh, it was so dry that these all got stuck. So, why don't I do this? I don't know if I should cut it off or not, and... Okay, maybe... Is this spider web? Is this spider mite? I think these got spider mites. Okay, so these have spider mites, and I'm not willing to deal with that right now. So I'm just going to cut them off like that. And um, start them again. Because these were dried off anyways. So I'm just going to trim as much as I can off. I don't want these spider mites anywhere. I'm also going to take this to quarantine somewhere. Probably in my shower. I usually put plants in my shower when I'm quarantining them. Um, okay, so yeah, so good thing I started trimming this because the spider mites probably would have, let me chop it here, like two stumps and then like it'll be, they'll be like, Spider mite free. So now I'm going to spray these stumps because um, now they don't have crevices to hide in as many as before with the leaves. Maybe I cut it f too far down. I don't know. No, actually, I, I, I think you can grow a whole plant just from a single stump. But anyways, we'll see what happens. But this is what I was talking about, guys. Look. This hideous plant, I mean, it looks hideous now. It was beautiful when I got it, but this hideous plant, literally in this beautiful pot. And then look at the, the bottom that I got. This doesn't make sense. I need to figure that situation out. Oh, maybe I'll repot these and put them in, like, a plastic container. Ay, ay, ay. Got lots more to do. So basically yesterday I had done the same thing with this plant, um, this palm tree. Um, it has not been happy because there was some pests on it. Um, so I cut them all the leaves off and I sprayed it. Um, I'm going to continue to cut all of this off and basically turn it into a stump and then see what happens. <laughs> now it's another example of a really nice pot with a stump inside of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really need to figure this out, guys. So I've been checking here the propagations and I noticed that this baby, I think it's a Maharani, it's an allocation Maharani corm that I've been growing in here and it's been really happy. Um, I grew this allocation this way and I actually want to put this in the paludarium, that'll be really cute. So looks like this needs to be watered i have all my carnivorous plants i have a huge project that i want to do um i'm gonna wait till i come back though because i want to wait till it's like warmer outside that way i can just put the arrangement outside and i just need to check these to make sure they have water in them 
And guys, it's as simple as literally looking because I didn't even have to open. I can see that there's water right on the outside. That means it doesn't need to be re-watered. Re Same thing with the bottom one. And I looked at these other two too and I looked at those other two as well. <laughs> and that there's there's condensation on the um on the little plastic container. So they're good. And this one is good as well. I wanted to show you guys this big juicy root. Look at that one. And look at this one on the side. This is the Argerius Pictus, I think. Look at that white root. I'll definitely re I'll definitely pot this up. Not repot. I'll definitely pot this up when I come back in like two weeks. This Hoya is also ready to be potted up. But if I waited two weeks, it would be all right. Just because I already have so many projects that I need to do, um, the less the better. I added, oh, I didn't even tell you guys. So because I added a light in my paludarium, it came with, I ordered the same thing. So I remember I told you guys that this one for the second shelf was missing and I added it in. So I had to like take out all the cordings and taping I had done. So it looks crazy right now. Um... But I need to like retape it up so it could so it could hide like the black cords. But at least now the second shelf has lighting, and um, I don't have to be afraid of like putting plants on the second shelf anymore. So I'm really excited about that. And my paludarium also has light now, so that's incredible. Um, here's another update on this little um, peperomia um, like arrangement that I made. I put two different peperomias in here a little while ago, and look at how many new baby leaves there are already. They're so happy in there. Um, I'm looking at all my cacti, and I'm noticing that I haven't watered them in a little while, but I'm going to wait to water them until next week, um, just because it'll be it'll like I'll feel better if I water them and then leave. Um, but I already watered one of them, this tiny cactus that I have. Okay, so I already watered this one, but then I thought to myself, it's better if I wait until I water them right before I leave. I want to, like, water all my plants, like, the day I leave. That way, I just will feel better that they'll be fine. Um, I need to figure this whole entire situation out. I do like having my cactus in, like, one, um, you know, one little pot rather than an arrangement, especially for, like, my special cacti. Like this one and my booby one and, you know, this one right here. I really like it by itself. But I really need to consolidate them. So it, this one doesn't look bad. Like, I like the way it looks. And I made this one as well. I need to put rocks in it to finish it off. That's one of the things I need to do before I go. Um, and then I need to also find a place for it here because, as you can see, this is... Um, the succulent already isn't liking the spot that I put it over there. Don't mind my messy room, guys, but it was sitting over there, and that's not enough light for it. Um, so I think that if I add it over here in one of these, it'll be much happier. Um, probably on this third shelf, I want to be able to see from above because they look really cute from above. So, yeah, I need to do that. So I've been going around to all the plants um, to make sure that they're all watered. Um... Those cacti are all fine. That one is fine because it loves neglect. Um, the this um, succulent over here is fine. Everything is fine. I feel like I shouldn't go through every single one, or it will be here all day. But um, this plant right here, this croton, I wanted to show you guys because I literally here these little motherfuckers are. I literally killed these things a little while ago, and look at them. They're back. So I need to get this out of here away from the other plants um luckily it's only on this leaf right now but before it was on the entire plant and this entire plant right here all over the stems i washed the entire thing and then sprayed it with captain jacks but it looks like th these are back so i'm gonna kill these with rabbi alcohol these little nasty ass mealy bugs i'm literally disgusted and um, i'm actually gonna stick this plant outside so that it's away from all the other plants. I don't want it to infect anything else. So these two fern over here, this one and that one over there could use a good soak. 
and I just want to add some water to these um, orchids as well. I already or I already watered this Hornia that I foraged from Florida. Look at this new growth. Obviously, it's not as thick and juicy as this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's because it's not getting as much light. And um, this is literally the best place for it in my house. But um, I cannot wait for it to bring it outside. So it'll be much happier there. I also don't like this pot anymore. So when I do bring it outside, I'm going to repot it. And probably trade this pot some like or something because I really don't like it anymore. This peace lily probably needs a watering as well. She just loves water. And um, I just need to check this Dracaena because I can't quite remember the last time I watered her. Um, I might wait until, um, for this one, I might wait until next week to give her a big good soak before I leave. Um, that way my sister would only top off a little bit. I've been saying this whole time, like, um, when I'm going to water it, um, for it to be fine. But I didn't tell you guys how long I'm going to be away. So I believe it's going to be like 10 days. So it's a little bit over a week. Um, maybe seven. I can't quite remember, but... I need to make sure that the plants that, like, don't need that much care, if I give them, like, a good amount of care, a good amount of light, I mean, a good amount of light, um, a good soak, and then I leave, um, they won't, they'll be fine. Um, like, they'll be fine if my sister waters them, like, on the last few days. But the ones that need constant care, like the fern, this peace lily, um, some of my mom's arrangements, um, that have... Um, what are they called? Bromeliads and um, orchids. Some of those need a little bit more attention. And my paludarium, which needs to be sprayed like every couple days. Um, and also this right here needs more attention. This palm tree, my palm tree in the front. Um, let's see, like for example, my mom's monster and my monster won't need water. Like if I give them a good soak before I leave, they'll be good. And then, for example, that lemon tree, looks like the leaves are curling. I don't know if you guys, uh, my mom literally started that lemon tree from a seed, you guys. Can you believe it? Um, so, I'm going to water that lemon tree now, but um, I'm going to give it a good soak before I leave, too. Same thing with this citronella. Like, all of these little, need a little bit more care. Um, so, I'm going to, those are the ones I'm going to be, like, FaceTiming my sister and being like, oh, can you water this? Can you water this? Okay, so I've watered all of these. I've watered these. Actually, I didn't water that Dracaena. I think it'll be fine till next week. Um, there's two palm trees in my sister's room that my mom put in there. I need to water them maybe in like two days. So I watered them like a day ago. Upstairs, I watered all the plants already. Let me show you guys. So my monster is really unhappy up here, guys. I don't even know what else to say. Like, I'm really disappointed in myself. I need to switch her location. I need to find a way to put her in my room somehow. Um, this banana palm. Banana palm. <laughs> birds of paradise. This birds of paradise um, was just watered. I also checked it for pests because I've had pest problems on it a couple times. And so every once in a while, I like to come up here and check for pests. I'll probably cut these leaves too. Um, so I just watered it today. So next week, right before I leave, I'll give them both a really good soak. And then they'll be fine. So my sister won't have to worry about those. All of these, same thing. Guys, I'm out of breath because I walked up the stairs. Wow, am I out of shape? <laughs> I did yoga today for the first time in like a year. And it was so much harder than it used to be for me. Wow. So anyways. These right here, all these Haworthias um, and that jade in the middle. Um, they're all dry. But... Besides this one that I need to give it a drink today or figure out what I need to do in the next couple days with this. Um, they'll all be fine until next week. I'll give them a good soak and then they'll be fine for the whole time because they thrive on neglect. I watered all of these plants, these two Dracaenas. Um, they'll be fine for now. I'll water them when I leave and they'll all be fine. So these are all low maintenance plants, you guys. So if I leave for like 10 days and don't water them, they'll be okay. Like I don't have to worry about them dying. Like I don't have to worry about my sister baby babying them. But some of the plants, they need to be babied. So 
like for example, the Calathea in my room, those need to be babied like every four days, they need to be watered every five days. Okay, then I wanted to bring you guys to my mom's bathroom. I watered this fern earlier um, and I, auto I also watered everything else, auto. <laughs> So some of these plants I'm going to be selling to my friend. Um, my mom was trying to sell her plants so that it's less care. And I'm going to bring some of them to Florida for her um, eventually. And um, so, yeah, it's really sad because she just made this wall and it's so beautiful. But now she's basically has to take it apart. Um, this is one of them that my friend is going to take um, up there. The snake plant, um, the pothos underneath it um basically a lot of them um all the other ones i'm going to bring to my mom and that camouflage too my friend wants to take it um let's say this cactus i'm going to keep for myself this jade um we're going to keep and this pothos i don't know if my friend is taking this i can't remember but um my mom had this since for like years so i don't know if she's going to give that one away this ivy, I might stick in my terrarium, paludarium. We'll see. Or I might make another paludarium for it because it's a little big. Maybe I want it crawling up on that cage with something else. Let's see. We'll see what happens. See, this one, I don't need to water it until I leave and then it'll be fine. Same thing with this cactus. We barely water it and it's fine. This alocasia also thrives on neglect. We can I can water it right before I leave. Um, the ones that need to be babied here are the fern that my sister needs to come and spray them every like four or five days. Um, but for the most part, they stay pretty like moist in here. All of these can be um, neglected. This one on the left over here, you can see already died. <laughs> it was a cutting that I got and um, it wasn't like just not put in a good spot and it died um all of these don't need a lot of care so they'll be fine there's succulents and there's cactus so they're fine um this needs a little bit more care as well maybe like um at the end of the week my sister could do it you know a couple days before i come back but it doesn't need to be every other day or every four days you know so basically it's just the fern um the alocasias don't oh not the alocasias the calatheas um all of these these are fine i'm just waiting on my friend to come back from colombia so she can come pick them up but actually no she's not in colombia she's in mexico what am i saying look how beautiful this is honestly like this is really hard for me to give this to her because this is such a big plant and it's doing so well in here but it doesn't even get enough love up here because I barely come up here. So I know it'll get a lot more love at her house. And afterwards, I was thinking of um, taking a video of where she put the plants so you guys can see. Because they're going to look so good at her house. So this is one of them. That one. That one. She wants this one. I definitely want to take a little piece of it before she takes it. A little piece of this one too. Um, yeah, what else? She wants this one. This Aglionema. She really liked this one. I'm gonna bring this staghorn fern for my mom. She loves this, so I'm gonna bring that one to Florida for her. So, yeah. Okay, so last place I want to bring you guys is my garage. As you can see, it's already kind of messy again. <laughs> It gets messy so fast in here because there's just too much clutter. But I wanted to show you guys um, the different plants in here um, and the different little projects that I wanted to do. Um, like, for example, before I leave, I wanted to finish selling my arrangements that I had made. Um, I was going to sell them at a fair, um, Earth Day Fair, but the Earth Day Fair was canceled. So I'm going to instead um, sell them online and also at this store called Happy Rainbows here near my near my house maybe like an hour away. Um, it's called Happy Rainbows. I already said that. Um, I need to figure that out. I probably will not. I probably, I just, I'm saying I will, but I probably will not figure that out. Um, my biggest, my biggest, um, the biggest thing I want to do is try to sell these arrangements. I don't want them here and like just sitting here in this garage. Like I want them to have beautiful homes. So those, that's something I need to work on. Um, all of these, 
do not need a lot of care. So if I water them before I leave, they will be fine. Some of these cacti, like for example, this one, that one, this one, these were all in my room and I brought them here to make an arrangement, but I didn't end up making it. So that's what I want to make. I want to make an arrangement with all my really pointy cactus and it have it be like my pointy desert cactus arrangement. I have this whole vision. It's going to be really cute, but I need to do that before I leave. I really want to get that out of the way just so it's like less care. It's less clutter. It's like more consolidated. Like I was telling you guys, I'm really excited for the summer to come because I want to put all of my aloe outside like that one. Um, where's the other one? This one already looks like it's so unhappy. I probably like need to repot this. It doesn't look happy. Um, I have another aloe up there. I just want to put these all outside and I'm really excited to do it right in there. There's another one. This air plant needs water. I don't want it to die. Yeah, it needs a really good drink of water. My mom brought me this from Florida. Um, let's see. All of these succulents, if I give them a good drink, like basically everything here. If I give them a good soak when I leave, they'll be fine. Um, that is an elephant ear, so I need to water that right now, actually, because I'm pretty sure that's supposed to stay moist, so we'll see. And then something else I wanted to do is, um, I don't like the way that this is coming out, so let me set this down for a second, but this is all, these are all my favorite cacti that I saved throughout the winter. These are the ones that made it. I had a couple more, but they died, like, for example, that one. Some that I just ended up throwing out. There was one here. It was so beautiful that I really want to replace. So I just want to take all of these and make another arrangement. And um, I want to do that before I leave. This is my propagation arrangement. So I've put different cuttings in here so that I could make more of the plant. Because some of these are really good to make arrangements, which I make a lot of. Um, so instead of buying, um, you know... Instead of buying the succulents that I want to put in the arrangements, I want to have make a lot of babies so that I can use my succulents, you know what I mean? So for example, these are really good filler plants, this one. So I wanted to make more of them, that way um, I can put them in arrangements. So yeah, these will be really happy outside. This one I want to redo, and I think that's it guys. I think I've said everything in here. I need to I need to figure out these arrangements. Like that's my number one goal um before I leave. These arrangements. They need to like, find homes like ASAP. Some of them have homes. Like it's not like I didn't sell like any of them. I sold maybe like three or four already. But um I feel like maybe I made them too soon. I should have made them a little bit further along in the summer or in the spring. Or maybe I'm just not promoting them enough. I don't know. I need to figure it out. Okay, so that's it for the video, you guys. I hope it wasn't too long for you. Um, this basically is me trying to figure out what I'm going to do with all the plants in this entire house when I leave. I'm going to beg my sister to watch them for me. Most of them won't need a lot of care. Some of them will need a little bit more babying. I want to get rid of these arrangements and by get rid of... I mean, I really want to give them to good homes. I'm going to post about it again today on like Facebook and Instagram and on my mom's Instagram page. My mom made an Instagram page for um, her plants and her arrangements. And I also post my plants and arrangements like I run it with her. Um, so I posted my arrangements on there if you guys um, want to check them out. And I think that's it, you guys. Um, in my next video, I'm going to probably be doing more. <laughs> the way I said that, I'll probably be doing more plant chores. Um, and I'll just be recording because I love watching plant tour videos. So, um, what else did I want to say? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I, I already did say that I probably won't finish my paludarium before I go to Florida because, um, the horticultural charcoal probably, um, wouldn't have come in already. So I won't be able to, like, make the bed on the bottom. And I want the horticultural charcoal to be the first layer. So I'll probably have to wait till I come back, which is fine. But I want to get in as many plants as I can. And um, I want to video you that. I want to video that as well. I've already videoed what I showed you just, I just showed you now. So I want to edit that and show you guys. 
So that's it for the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!